Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Firstly, I'd like to uh, wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Uh, we are kick uh, kickstarting, right, the beginning of the season. So hope you guys are as excited as I am. Hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels. Please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Gemini for this month of October 2021. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Gemini. One more shuffle. Okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Two of Swords. Um, okay, so there is a need for you to take a bit of a step back to be able to make... Um, a wise decision here. I feel that you guys have been putting something um, in the back burner, not really trying to deal with it or not trying to address it. Um, it's almost like hopefully or wishfully thinking or hoping that it's going to kind of fix itself. Um, it could be a situation that has you a bit stressed, a situation where you feel like you're ready to throw in the towel, Gemini. Um, I feel that this has a lot to do with emotions, Gemini, because the moon is definitely standing out here with the two of swords. Um, could be feeling like there is a lot of uncertainty or there is a feeling of doubt in a connection or someone you may be dealing with for this month of October. The nine of wands is exactly the, I've been through everything, I've dealt with it the best I could, but I'm to the point where I am exhausted, I'm to the point where I am just about ready to walk away from this connection. Um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries uh, energy here. And it's almost like it, it's a feeling of it's a feeling of being taken for granted or them not realizing or giving you the credit uh, for basically all the shit you've either dealt with or you've had to put up with. Um, because it's almost like you're refusing or you're choosing to refuse to walk away from a situation. But at the same time, there is, it's like there's, you can't go any other way around it other than making the decision. Either you keep putting up with it or you walk away, Gemini. And I feel like you guys are just not trying to deal with that because there may be fears there. There may be a feeling of, you know, if I put my foot down and I start to create boundaries, they may walk away, uh, they may pull away, that type of energy. Um, but at the same time, I'm tired of doing or dealing with the same situation. However, I do feel that for the month of October with the Ace of Swords here, there's going to be some type of truth, some type of honesty that's going to be coming out. This could be the person that you're dealing with that straight, you know, uh, becomes very straightforward communicates with you, opens up, um, and is truthfully honest with you, almost like brutally honest. Um, but this can also be your energy, Gemini. You may be pushed to the verge of having to speak your truth, um, regardless of what the outcome could be. Um, I feel like in the past, you kind of held back. Again, we go back to that of holding back or biting your tongue because there was a bit of fear there of what may happen if I do. Um, but I feel that you're being pushed to this situation of having no other choice but to stand your ground. Um, now, if you're not dealing with anyone in regards to love and romance, this could be uh, in regards to career, the people that you work with, the people that are around you. Um, it's almost like they continuously either keep taking you for granted or they're not completely honest and transparent with you in regards to what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so again, I feel that you've been, you know, trying to kind of trying to sweep things under the rug uh, because there's really not a, des a great desire to want to address it. However, I do see that it will be addressed. And I feel that for some of you guys, the majority of you, you may be pushed to that situation where you kind of need to speak up. However, you have two aces here, Gemini. So there's definitely a new beginning for you guys. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a promise for something that has longevity, something that is long-term. Uh, this could be, you know, uh, 
kind of speaking your truth and knowing that it, it's almost like the circumstances have gotten to the point where it's like too far out. You can no longer ignore it. You need to speak up. The moment you speak up, the moment you stand your ground and you know your worth, Gemini, and you're not scared of consequences in regards to uh, kind of like expressing your feelings, um, expressing your feelings without any, without having to apologize for it. I feel that the moment you do that, opportunities start to open up for you. Um, or the, you know, the outcome of that is something positive with the Ace of Swords being able to honestly uh, be open with one another and the Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity uh, to build on a solid foundation. So I definitely do see that uh, things will progressively get better for you for this month of October. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.